Kate Garraway's husband's death prompts doctors' warning on concerning long COVID. Exclusive, Dr. Natalia Bogacheva, GP at the London General Practice, said the highest percentage of long COVID currently stands in between the ages 35 to 50 years. Following Kate Garraway's husband Derek Draper's death last month, a doctor has given an update about the signs and symptoms of long COVID and how age and health determines its severity. Those still suffering from the multi-system condition can have a wide range of symptoms that can last weeks, months, or even years after infection. Author Michael Rosen, who shared the same ICU as Kate Garraway's husband in 2020, recently told Express. Co.uk that he was still experiencing long-lasting damage such as little sight in his left eye, a lack of hearing in his left ear as well as barely having any feeling left in his toes after catching COVID in 2020. At the time of being hospitalized, he was placed into a coma and told he had a 50-50 chance of waking up. After pulling through his health ordeal, he was then faced with the challenge of having to learn to walk again. While Michael counts himself as one of the lucky ones, Derek sadly didn't have the same outcome and died last month after suffering from a cardiac arrest following a three-year health battle. Talk TV presenter Piers Morgan was also left experiencing health issues months after contracting COVID and in 2022, called for more research to be done on the unpleasant side effects such as loss of senses and bad fatigue. Now, Dr. Natalia Bogacheva GP at the London General Practice, has said the highest percentage of long COVID currently stands in between the ages 35 to 50 years. She shared, long COVID is a multi-system condition comprising of a wide range of symptoms that follow an acute infection with SARS-CoV-2 virus. Although most people fully recover from the infection, around 10% of infected individuals will go on to have long COVID. It may affect any age group including children, however the highest percentage of diagnosis is in between the ages 35-50 years. Most of the affected people would have had mild illness, although in hospitalized patients with a severe COVID, the chances of having long COVID is more than 50%. Long COVID can also occur in people who have been vaccinated and catch COVID afterwards. Dr. Bogacheva went on to state that the current estimate of the number of people suffering from long COVID stands at more than 65 million people worldwide. The most common symptoms of long COVID include, a persistent cough, breathlessness, chest pains, fatigue and palpitations, brain fog, memory loss and various abdominal symptoms such as nausea and IBS-type symptoms. Less common symptoms and conditions include diabetes, development of autoimmune disorders, hearing loss and erectile dysfunction. According to the doctor, it is also observed that long COVID increases risks of cardiac arrest, death, heart failure, and strokes. Children and adolescents are more likely to develop chronic fatigue syndrome, headaches and suffer with sleep disorders. For those in the 65 and over category, the doctor warns that those still suffering is certainly more concerning as they are at greater risk of persistent long COVID symptoms. She shared, there are few identifiable risk factors that may predict who is more likely to develop long COVID, and they include female sex, diabetic patients or people with known connective tissues disorders, ADHD, chronic urticaria and with a history of allergic rhinitis. However, one third of people with long COVID have no identified pre existing conditions. Interestingly, it was also shown that inadequate rest following the infection may also predispose in developing long COVID. It is certainly also more concerning in patients who are older than 65 years who are at a greater risk of persistent long COVID symptoms. They are also more likely to have multi organ damage than younger people, with kidney, lung, heart and the brain suffering the most insults. The other factors that have been implicated in both development and persistence of long COVID are smoking, high BMI and a history of anxiety and depression. Currently, the doctor shared, there are no broadly effective treatments for long COVID, however certain symptoms may be managed by specific treatment strategies. Giving examples, she listed that with lung-related symptoms, a chest physiotherapy may be helpful 
whereas for fatigue, a CBT therapy may offer some benefit.